United Kingdom's Prime Minister Boris Johnson defended his decision on the lockdowns as a top scientist said that the country's COVID-19 death toll could have been halved had the restrictions been put in place just a week earlier. Johnson said that it was premature to decide if the lockdown was too late. With over 41,000 fatalities, Britain has the world's second highest COVID-19 related death toll. Of course, you know, we're going to have to look back at all of it and learn the lessons that we can. But frankly, I think that uh, a lot of these questions are, are still premature and there are lots of things, lots of data, lots of uh, things that we still don't know. And this epidemic has a, has a long way to go, alas, uh, not, in this, not just in this country, but around the world. Boris Johnson was responding to remarks made by Neil Ferguson, who was a member of the UK government scientific advisory group. Prime Minister Boris Johnson introduced the lockdown on the 23rd of March. Epidemiologist Neil Ferguson told lawmakers that Britain had taken the right measures against the coronavirus, but the action came too late. The epidemic was um, doubling every three to four days before lockdown interventions were introduced. So had we introduced uh, lockdown measures a week earlier, we would have reduced the death, a final death toll by at least a half. Um, so whilst I think the measures, given what we know about this, knew about this virus then in terms of its transmission and its lethality, were warranted, I wouldn't uh, second guess them at this point. Certainly, had we introduced them earlier, we would have seen many fewer deaths. Ferguson stepped down from his government post advisory group after he himself was found flouting lockdown rules. Meanwhile, UK government has said that adults living alone, as well as single parents, will be allowed to meet others indoors. It will also not be mandatory for them to maintain a two-meter distance. According to a report, Johnson is planning to scrap the two-meters distancing rule in schools as early as September. Vion's Bureau Chief, uh, Vion's London Bureau Chief, Mandy Clark, is joining us live now. Mandy, there is massive controversy whether Boris Johnson imposed the lockdown measures too late. Well, he's uh, come out and defended his actions, but the death toll in the UK continues to rise, second highest death toll in the world. Surely, UK has fallen short as far as its battle against COVID-19 is concerned. Yes, and that's a major concern. Not only did that... Uh, Britain had uh, locked down too late in many ways. Uh, that is historical. What the greater concern that we're hearing from scientists is now that they're easing lockdown measures too quickly. Um, it is a big uh, toll for on the public. But the worry is that if they start easing lockdown measures, there's speculations that shops will be uh, back open and running on Monday. That hasn't been confirmed, but that is a speculation. If those measures continue to ease, then Britain might be hit with that second wave. And the biggest worry, of course, is not just the many lives that could be lost, but also how badly it will hit the economy. Currently, the Bank of England is forecasting a worse depression than since 1706, over uh, hundreds of years. Uh, so the economy and more lives could be lost if uh, lockdown measures are done too quickly. Right. Uh Mandy, uh, like the US, we saw massive anti-racism protests in the UK as well. Has there been any link established yet uh, to those massive protests? We saw thousands of people on the road uh, protesting against uh, racism in society. Has there been any link uh, to a spike in the number of cases and the large-scale protests that we saw in the UK? That it, it, It's too early because those protests happened uh, really last week and over the weekend, but that is the massive concern. They had broken, of course, lockdown rules. The rules were that uh, no more than six people uh, from other households were allowed there to gather and, of course, two meters apart. That obviously didn't happen when the protests happened. Uh, and the worry is with those mass gatherings could lead to a much greater spike more quickly. We just don't know if that will be the case because of the time it takes uh, for the virus to be in the body. So that's another two weeks. And then in, in two weeks' time, if we do see those spikes, it could be because of those mass protests. There, at the time, protesters were asked, uh, isn't this uh, dangerous to be gathering? And they felt 
that it was they felt more passionately about the danger uh, of people ignoring uh, Black Lives Matter movement than the coronavirus. So that's the decision the protester took, but it could have very serious consequences to the public in Britain. Mandy Clark, thank you so much for joining us uh, live from London, getting us all the latest updates on Britain's battle. Okay.